How's it going, everyone? Back at it again on Cold War. Here's another camo update. I'm done with everything except this. Get five kills without dying 20 times. Uh, I need five more of that. I'm gonna play face off. I'm just gonna be real. I don't think I'm gonna get this challenge complete in this video. Okay, first of all, right, why did I choose the UGR? You wanna also have maxed out? MP5, first weapon I tried out in this entire game because I thought it was gonna be as good as the as a Modern Warfare MP5. The Tech 9, cause that shit's fucking OP. You get the point, right? I, I could've just gone with the MP5, could've gone with literally any of those other weapons, but I went for the UGR, cause like, it just happened to be that I got my positive first impressions on the UGR at the same time as getting the idea to do this shit. This DM Ultra grind. I mostly just heavily regret all this. I also got the regular kill camos done for the RPG. Now I have double kill camos to do and get kill equipment, which honestly isn't that hard of a challenge, just that I keep forgetting I have to do it. But a double kill challenge is so annoying because like 9% of the time everyone grouped together has flak jacket on. Although I do understand why you have it on. I, please. Man. Dude, I don't know if this is just me, but like sometimes when I see like a sniping clan in game, like in face off, trying to interrupt my camo grind session, I just like out of pure hatred switch to my sniper class and just try to own them. I, it usually just ends up being like a balanced and fair fight. But yeah, I don't know why I do that. I just have to do it. Just like make myself feel okay. I've definitely been like a lot more softer on the grind. I thought I could definitely be grinding it out like way more. Like if I did a strip, just like skip a day. Because I don't know, I think I felt like burnt out a little. The reason why I'm playing face off to grind and not nuke town like every other normal person is because like every time I die in the camo grind, like trying to go for a specific challenge, it hits harder than just like dying normally, you know? Like god damn it, I was going for that. How could you? I don't know people are like, oh yeah, turn your brain off. I can't turn my brain off. My brain is always on. That being said, 9% of times I die while getting mad was in Nuketown. Mainly hardcore Nuketown to be honest. I generally don't think there's a single person who plays that not for camos. If you actually play that not for camos, you're just kind of a psychopath low key. Three kills. I ran out of ammo. Like all the bad like grind moments have just like evaporated every neuron in my brain which has a positive attitude about nuketown it's just all gone at least for this game like i still play it like as soon as i'm done with long shots or or a very specific like kill streak challenge i'm out that's it i do not want to play it anymore i'm going right back to face off i used to be the kind of guy to like only play one map but i'm i, I can't do that anymore i have to play multiple maps that's why i really like face off 6v6 to be honest face off 6v6 is probably one of the greatest things i've ever added to this game why why was it not in mono warfare maybe it wasn't mono warfare i don't know maybe i just wasn't playing when it was in but it's in here 24 7 and it, i i love it it's amazing you get to play on small maps so you like always encounter players it's super fast but you're also like not playing on the same map every day for hours on end shout out to all the people who are, who are on modern warfare playing non-stop shipment by the way i don't know how you do that all right i think i made no progress that round i'm gonna give it a stack usually i do really well on mansion but i okay can i please go back to the menu Yeah, but you, know, you got anything to say? Oh my, why does it do that? Why does it do that? Troy Arch, please fix. And while you add it, also fix the custom prestige icon so that they like actually sync with Vanguard prestige. I'm prestige eight, by the way. But I was prestige one back when this game was in its prime because I like, I never played COD for some reason. So instead of getting this cool ass blue snake bat emblem, the b coolest emblem I can really get is the Black Ops 2 one. Although I can't like this one is kind of fire. I low want this. And this. Okay, Prestige 1 emblem emblems don't seem that bad anymore. But whatever, you get the point. Why am I not Prestige 8? This makes no sense. I'm probably the only person complaining about this because I'm like the only person who cares about the Prestige store, but come on. This is insane. After like a little while, when you're like when you're just grinding a ton of a ton of camos, you're just playing a ton of Call of Duty in general, you start to like notice who's a sniper and who's not just by looking at their name in the lobby like obviously in, like xbox lobby used to be like xx ultra snipes like but like the the second e is a three and just and the s in snipes is a z so it's like snipes or be like a fake phase member but nowadays it's just kind of it's like when the names look too simple or if it's an anime reference 90 percent of the time i don't know why there are so many anime kids who just also snipe in call of duty it's so weird i'm not one of them i'm different I feel more disappointed in myself sniping in this game. It's just too, way too easy. Obviously, I mean, sniping isn't easy, but if there's one game where I would confidently say that sniping is maybe the easiest, that was insane. It's probably this game. There's no flinch on the snipers. The aim is just this stupid. Like, this game has ridiculously easy sniping. The only other game I can maybe name that has, like, ridiculously easy sniping like this one is maybe World War II. You know, the 2017 game everyone forgot about. That's probably my least favorite Call of Duty, but the sniping in there is, like, I don't know if I, like, just happened to be a natural at World War II sniping or something, but for some reason, getting clips on that game is way too easy for me. 
the only time I ever had fun on that game was while sniping. As soon as I switched to a regular automatic weapon, I just wanted to leave. I wanted to get out of there. Also, did that like weird three kill streak thing I just got like even transform into a five kill streak ever? That might have just been like a complete waste. I hate this challenge so much. It's not that hard to be honest. If I just like stayed up until like 1 a.m., I could probably get it. But I'd probably be editing by that point. Maybe I did turn my brain off. <laughs> Guild Mike. I don't actually really need that anymore. I just kind of place it down anyway when I have it, but I already did all the like detection challenges, so it doesn't really matter. Although I don't know if the launchers have detection challenges. If they do, that's fucking stupid. Why would they have that? Why? Why do launchers have kill challenges in the first place? Nobody uses them for that. That's not the point of them. The point of launchers is to like shoot down vehicles or kill streaks. Why on earth do you get kill challenges for them? That's so weird. It just adds like an unnecessary layer to launcher camos that nobody wants. <sighs> okay. I hope I unlocked something for that. I don't think I unlocked the final. I definitely didn't unlock the final camo, but I think I made progress. All right. Did I make any progress? Oh my God. I didn't. Holy shit. That's horrible. What?